Well, Treasure Valley baseball fans who crave that live bleacher seat feel always have Memorial Stadium to watch the Boise Hawks play ball, but for Canyon County residents, that might not be incredibly convenient. Fortunately, the Spuds are back for their second season to not only entertain local hardball fans, but to show college kids around the country how amazing our area is. <laughs> Let's start with the basics. In case you've never heard of them, what are the Canyon County Spuds? The Canyon County Spuds are a collegiate uh, summer league baseball team. We just play two months out of the year. It's all uh, college baseball players. And not just college kids from Idaho, they're coming to town from all over. Arizona, Washington, Oregon, California. We got two guys on the team from Florida. Sometimes you'll see guys uh, in Nebraska, Midwest, Northwest. A few major changes have hit the Spuds since last year, including a new head coach. These guys are awesome. I mean, I, I'm not mad about how we're playing at all. Um, we're getting along. All those guys are getting along. Um, so it's been a great year so far. Coach Iniguez wasn't able to join the team until a few games into the season due to prior coaching obligations, but likes what he's seen so far despite the grueling schedule. I mean, it's a grind this summer. We play 60 games in two months. We're basically playing every single day, going on um, long bus trips. Hey guys. Um, but then battling back every game is makes my job easier. As for the 32 players on the roster, only five are returning from last year, including Owen Bischoff, who's seen a huge jump in attendance and morale from the start of last season up until now. Last year was definitely a big learning experience, just being a first year program, inaugural season. The crowds were pretty thin at first, but by the end of the year, it was, it was pretty electric here. I, I remember our final series, it was like six, 700 people a night. And team chemistry this year has not been an issue. I only knew three or four returners um, from last year. And I mean, we went on that first road trip and we just gelled. Impressive considering all recruiting was done virtually. We did a lot of uh, two or three Zoom sessions just to get to know the guys, tell them my expectations, meet them a little bit. Um, that way they were familiar with who I am already um, before I even got here. One of those expectations, if you're not on the field or possibly getting a tiny bit of rest, you're helping out around town. That they're opening their arms for us, so we have to get back to the community, and that's what we've been doing. Like today, we had a reading for the for kids. Um, yesterday, we were doing at the food pantry, building food boxes for homeless people. Sounds like it's safe to say that the Cannon County Spud sophomore year is definitely a hit. I'm thankful to be part of such a quality organization, especially to be back here for a second year. It's just been everything. And yeah, if you're if you're a college kid and you want to play ball at a high quality organization, this is this is the spot to be, Canyon County. And as of this morning, the Spuds have a 20 and 19 record and will next be headed to Casper, Wyoming to take on the Horseheads for a three game series that all starts on Friday. For more information about the Spuds, you can visit their website at spudsbaseball.com.